All right, walking back now, guys, and I already know what's in this trap, but I want you guys to see it too. It's pretty amazing, guys. First one that I've caught of these. There he is. Hey, good morning, guys. It is bright and early on January 13th. Nope, that's not right. It's February. We're gonna start checking the traps down here in the gut pile. And then, uh, so far it's looking clean. And then as we kind of work our way down the line, I'm gonna show you guys a whole lot of new sets that the boys and I did yesterday. I got them, I gave them each a, uh, oh my gosh, there's a red fox in my trap, guys. I'll walk away. I don't want to bother him too much and go get the rifle, but, um, <laughs> so anyway, we moved a bunch of traps yesterday, um, for the predator sets, not the predator sets. I'm flustered. We moved canine sets, uh, two of them, um, in some good spots. I think there'll be some action there. We also moved all of the, uh, words nestrator sets right so each of the boys i gave them one i said here's a general area that you can choose from here's how they work and you know where do you want them kind of thing so they each kind of took a part in that we got some good placements on those on those sets and um we'll go uh we'll go check them and then we'll go check out that big old red fox that is on the gut pile set sneaking in the backside. That sucker's been set for, I'd have to look back, over a month, I would say at least. So we'll go check it out, guys. All right, guys, there's that red fox. Got sneaking in the backside of the uh, of the set to the gut pile there. Wrapped up in that thorn in a double front foot catch. We'll get that guy taken care of and um, show you how he's looking. Looks like a beautiful animal, guys. Guys, that is a beautiful looking animal. Male red fox. And once again, guys, he just kind of snuck in. I'll show you the remake real quick. He just kind of came in this trail along the backside. I'll cover up that. Kind of through that walkway right there. Just a blind set, not baited. No lure, no nothing. Going in to get himself a little midnight snack, I'm assuming. So let's cover that up a little bit and uh, walk away. Let's go check the rest of the line. Not gonna lie, wasn't expecting a catch here just cause it's been so long. But again, patience prevails. We got the red fox right there. Big old bobcat right there. Time to go check the rest of the line, guys. All right, we'll check this coyote set right quick. Nothing happening there. Still got the scat right next to it, nothing fresh. So probably just nothing has been through since we rearmed that sucker. So we're gonna head across the creek, guys, start checking traps. All right, guys, heading over the creek. I got a strange feeling that there's going to be a skunk in a trap. Just on account of what I'm smelling, I don't know pretty calm with the wind, but I'm getting hints of skunk. So we'll see. So like I said, we did a lot of work here. The boys and I did yesterday, changing some sets up. We've not even made it to the fun part yet, where I get to check those. And we got a nice male red fox in a, in a walkthrough set, I guess is what they're called, non-baited set. So that's a heck of a way to start my morning. So we'll get up here and we're going to go left around the field. And we got to cover a little more ground today because the traps are more spread out. So I'll turn you around when we start checking them. All right, here's one of the new sets, guys. So remove the snare from that den entrance. And it's kind of covered up now. But that was a super fresh canine imprint. Fox, I believe, 
So there's the dirt hole set. Trap bedded right about there. I got pretty good hopes about that one, just on account of the fresh sign. But no activity yet there. So we're gonna keep pushing down to the gap and then got traps all through down there. It should be fun to check, let's go. So we have one dog proof here, guys. One of my boys put out. Got a pretty well pronounced trail right over the embankment of the creek. So nothing in it so far, but we'll keep walking down, checking the other ones. We got another dog proof here, actually where the old road used to cross. No critters moving here. That was a good spot. I imagine we'll get some action there at some point. We got one more canine trap that we put in, dirt hole set, kind of with a log backer. We'll check out cage trap and then a dirt uh, dog proof that my boy, one of my boys put next to the watering hole, which I think is a really good idea. So we're gonna go check these out, guys. Looks like the cage trap's not been fired. Yep, so we'll keep on moving. I think this is gonna be a really good set once it gets worked, but trap bedded right there. Dirt hole underneath that log backer. And once that sucker gets worked, it's gonna be a really nice setup. And then the last trap is gonna be just down here in the watering hole. That's how I know where to go, an old gas can. Um, and I can see that it's not been worked either. So, those are the new traps. Uh, there it is, right there. Still baited up. The river used to actually run through here a long time ago. And when it goes over its banks, it fills up this hole. And it's just always been somewhere that holds water. I've uh, had some really successful deer hunts here. Uh, my buddy Jeremy and I were generally in this area. I talked about him in one of my other videos. Really solid hunt, really solid guy. But those are the new sets that we put out yesterday. And this is kind of a look from the field that we haven't really seen before. But here we are. All right, guys, we're gonna close it out from there. Um, heading back to the house, getting to work. Um, so now you guys have seen the new kind of nest raider sets that I put out with my boys. They kind of each chose a specific spot um, along some game trails coming into the field, primarily from the creek. But as you guys have seen over the last couple of weeks, it's been really slow for nest raiders. I think two possums is all I've gotten, which in my mind is a win. Um, win for the wildlife management on the farm anyway as far as turkey and quail habitat goes you guys will notice all the fields are kind of grown up with the dormant native warm season grasses and if you're not now you are but the goal with all that is to kind of bring the the native quail back into the area um they were here then they were gone and now they're kind of making a comeback so every, any field that's not planted in fescue and planted more in the native warm season grasses is going to benefit the quail population however where there's a pocket of native warm season grass which facilitates um you know ground nesting birds in a, in a very great way there's also going to be a pocket of raccoons and possums and skunks and other critters taking advantage of that so if you're going to do one you got to do the other and if and if you don't have a stomach for it then i recommend um looking for a different profession or hobby um anyway that's a that's a rant there but i'll get off that little soapbox so you guys saw some new rest nest trader sets which looked great um the two new dirt hole sets look awesome in my mind i think they're in really good spots on fresh sign and things of that nature and uh and then you know kind of the the awesome catch of the red fox in the walkthrough set go to the gut pile which you know not that I was losing faith, but I, I'd be lying if I didn't say that I was planning on pulling those uh, those traps, you know, this week. Um, anyway, so that, that was a pretty great way to start my day, great way to start the week. If you're new to the channel, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've not already subscribed, I, I would hope that you would do so and check out some of my older stuff. Um, 
a little bit about me. Land trapping is something I just kind of started. Really, I just started trapping all around about two years ago, but I've been targeting land critters on the farm since about mid-December of 22. So you're looking at a guy who's kind of just trying to figure it all out when it comes to land trapping. I got a lot of good folks here on this channel or on this uh, platform that have been helping me along the way. Um, a lot of great videos out there, you know, from like Coon Creek Outdoors, Mark J. Larson, 330 Maniac, and uh, Dan and Judith with Beaver Trapping and stuff like that. But, you know, this is a wonderful platform for folks learning how to trap, interested in trapping, check them out, guys. I'm not claiming to know really anything. Um, but it is a great place to come and learn and kind of, you know, enjoy the process that is trapping. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope to see you guys next time and uh, look forward to seeing y'all's videos and seeing what's on my line tomorrow morning. Have a great day.